Today guys, we are going to be talking about how one of the biggest issues in GTA 5 Online has been fixed on next generation consoles. I know you guys enjoy playing video games, but it can be very hard to grind on every single game, especially if you don't have a lot of extra time. If you need some help on any of the games that you play, check out Digazani in the description and they will supply you with everything you need in any of those games and get 10% off by using code FROLICS at checkout. The biggest issue with GTA Online was public sessions. Obviously that's not the biggest issue, but it was one of the bigger ones. And what I'm talking about is whenever you would load into a public session in GTA Online, there would be certain issues compared to loading into a friends only, a solo session, or an invite only session. And those issues would be like, for instance, you would be just a lot more laggy because obviously there's more people in the lobbies. Sometimes you'd be driving around or flying in a plane or helicopter, and the faster you go, sometimes textures just would not load in on time and everything would seem kind of blurry and a little bit pixelated. But if you were lucky enough to get yourself a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or S, then you guys will notice that is just gone. It feels like you're in a private session when you're in a public lobby. And that's one of the main reasons I never used to actually play in public sessions. Obviously the other reason is because I just like to chill in GTA 5. And a lot of people will try to kill you for absolutely no reason, especially if you steal a car off the street and you get a bounty, guaranteed in the next couple of minutes, somebody is going to kill you. But I used to love playing in public sessions until I noticed it was just too laggy and I could not take it anymore. So I just played in friends only sessions. But now when I go on PS5, the first thing I noticed when I loaded into a public session is it was no longer laggy. Everything was just perfect. Like I said, it was just like I was playing by myself in a friends only session. Now I'm not sure exactly what caused this. I didn't change my setup or anything like that or my internet. Everything has been exactly the same. So anybody saying that, oh, it's because you changed something on your setup up or it's because you got better Wi-Fi, that's not the case whatsoever. I'm not sure, but I think it's just because playing on these better consoles, everything is just a lot better, playing on these SSDs instead of hard drives. Honestly, I think that's one of the main reasons why it's been fixed. And now I can actually enjoy playing in public sessions because you guys know you're playing on PS4 right now. And if you've been playing in friends only lobbies or invite only lobbies, and then you go to a public session, you'll see how much more laggy those lobbies are. Like it's unbearable, especially if you're used to playing in lobbies that just have no lag whatsoever. Everything is just nice and smooth and crisp. Then you go to a public lobby and it's just terrible. So I'm very, very thankful that they did fix this and it's gonna be a lot better because then I can play in public sessions when this new update comes out and I know it's going to be a lot more fun having people in the lobby as well just so you can experience it all together you don't want to be doing that in a solo session by yourself exploring a whole new island all by yourself and of course I am going to be doing a live stream of that I'm going to be exploring the entire new island when that update comes out so be sure to tune into that live stream when it actually happens I was going to make a video on this a very long time ago when the PS5 first came out but then I completely forgot about it I wrote it down in my notepad but then so many other things have been coming up, I completely forgot to make this video. So I am putting it out now, even though it's a little bit late, it is still something that is awesome and I'm so thankful that they actually fixed this. Or maybe they didn't and it's just these consoles are so much more powerful and it's just so much better. I can imagine all the PC gamers out there are like, what the hell are you even talking about? What even is lag on their $3,000 PC or whatever they're playing on? But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because if you were thinking about getting a next generation console, that is one thing you can expect from GTA 5. One of the noticeable changes is going into a public session and experiencing no lag, crisp, pure gameplay with no issues whatsoever. Because some people might say that does affect how they actually play the game. If you lag in Call of Duty, you're not gonna get any kills, you're gonna get slapped. And if you're like a tryhard in GTA 5 and you go around killing people or you're trying to grind in this game in a public session, you go into a public lobby and it's all laggy and everything, obviously that's gonna affect how you play the game. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this was changed and that's gonna pretty much wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.